Howdy guys, how's it going? So we are down here at the wall tent during this uh, really really cold weather. Just took me a second. I got the I got the wood stove going, but the temperature has already rose up to the point in here where I've got to had to pull one of the flaps on the door back. When I left, it's supposed to be 23 degrees outside, uh, unless you were standing in direct sunlight. But just the, the ambient air temperature is about 23. Uh, I have to double check the weather, see what it's supposed to dip down to tonight, but I brought uh, my two Sunco carabiner thermometers, which if you've watched one or two of my past recent videos, you'll be familiar with these. But yeah, these just have a thermometer on it. It's got a little bubble cup. It's got two of those. The one that I'm going to put outside tonight, right now there's really no point because uh, it's either going to be in the shade or in the sun. And I want, this right here is a uh, County Com glow in the dark uh, keychain do jig. And so like it's been in my bag. Um, so you probably can't even really tell yet. But I'm going to leave this in the light to charge up. That way we can hang it uh, in a tree once the sun starts go down and it'll be super easy to locate this. Also, if I drop this little black thing in the snow, uh, it can be pretty difficult to find. So it's a good way to keep track of that. And we'll leave one in here in the tent. Uh, I'll put it like mid level, kind of like where my lights run because then that's not all the way anywhere, you know, up at the peak. But it's also not down low where all the cold air sinks. But I'm going to put it on this far corner away from the wood stove itself. But yeah, this is the type of weather this tent was made for, baby. I'm going to leave the lights off right now because there's plenty of light coming in uh, just through the side walls. It's not quite as bright as the exposure is showing it on the camera right now. But I'm very hungry. I've got a nice bag of homemade deer stew that I put on last night in the crock pot. And it was really good. I got it one of those uh, durable silicone resealable bags, like one of those that you can even pour pour boiling water into. But we'll put that into the pot and get that going ASAP because I'm gonna let the wood stove and let those two larger pieces that I split uh, burn down just a little bit more. And then I got the other half that I'm gonna put in there so that we can hopefully get just a nice, pretty even burn going. Like I don't need it fully cooking. Because uh, right now I just have on this uh, Thermowave 3, I think they call it the 3-in-1 top. And it's just like a really thick merino wool. And just sitting in here right now, I'd say, with that door open, sitting on this far back corner of the tent. You can still see my breath. I'd say it's probably 35 to 40 degrees. And whenever I stand up where all that heat is, I start sweating. So... So here is our nice big old bag of deer stew. Once again, if you're curious, this is a uh, durable, reusable silicone bag. Brought out one of my cubic titanium pots that I made a cozy for out of that uh, windshield insulating material. I thought this would be a good size because I'll probably eat half of this now or a little bit more than half, eat more later, and then I do have a dehydrated meal plus snacks if I get peckish. But since we're just chilling out, this right here should be more than enough. And I brought a spoon. And by God, that just looks like a beautiful pot of perfection. Now, the one thing that I did notice when I tried it before I left uh, is I want to add more old bay to mine. So, spice kit will 
put a good bit of that in there. Take and just set this right up on the front edge because that's where the stove is the least hot and close our damper down to the closest set without completely shutting it off. That way I can just stir this and monitor the temperature while I got all that nice broth and stuff in there. Shouldn't have any issues with it burning the bottom, but we'll just keep her moving since this is a titanium pot. Just get this good and heat it up. Very low flying airplane. Hey, and there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A nice big steaming pot of deer stew. I'm gonna open up the damper a bit more. A hot tent with a wood stove and homemade deer stew doesn't get much better and I brought my titanium percolator with me we're gonna be throwing it on the wood stove for the first time normally I would have made some coffee right before this but I was just really really hungry just keep this thing right here this pot of stuff set off on that far rack uh, on the other side of the wood stove and then just whenever we're hungry we can set it up front let it heat up until it's all gone this is a very dense meal because it's mostly I would say it's 70% deer meat 30% vegetables so now that the sun's went down the tent has definitely dropped out so I'm going to get my pillow put where it goes and there's been a lot of just recently fallen branches and stuff that I've been collecting plus some of the wood that we had under our tarp here but I'm gonna throw together our Agawa buck saw just fold that back that way put it in that notch right there make sure your hands not in the way there you go. So yeah, I'm gonna step up here. There is a white oak that has a big limb that's fell. So we're gonna go process that up. the smaller stuff and bring it near the end of the tent. I have to start the fire in the morning. Alrighty, so we got a decent bit of wood. Now 
I'm gonna break out the old titanium percolator. So as far as videos go, I think this is only the second time I've used this in a video, but this is a Vulcan titanium, like 100% titanium percolator, which is just awesome. Like the future, the future is here. Well, I've got enough coffee for now and for in the morning. And then instead of screwing with powdered creamer, since I had the full wheeler, I got about half a bottle of milk. I just put in a water bottle to put in our coffee. <clears throat> and now I haven't got it out yet just so it wouldn't be in the way. But in case this is your first time seeing any wall tent content, I've got a Sagan Life water filter here. It's only about half full now. This next time, like heading out tomorrow, I'll be taking this back with us since it's going to be getting down into single digits, even below zero, with wind chill. And this has a filter in it, and I don't want the filter element to uh, freeze. But I've had it wrapped up in a wooby and multiple layers of 100% wool blanket. And there is just, it sounds like there might be like a few little pieces of ice in there, but I don't think it's froze over solid enough to damage that filter at all. These things are rated for uh, some pretty extreme conditions, but. There was water in the hose and it's not frozen, so I think all in all we're fine. Flow rate seems fine. Yeah. Now I'm going to take this go ahead and fill my canteen back up. There we go, I'm making a full pot, so I got a full basket. That should be enough for a full basket in the morning. Put that right near the pipe, because that's where the stove's the hottest, and that should be perking in no time. Now, while we're waiting on our coffee to start percolating, uh, let's talk about something new and that I think is really, really cool that we're going to be trying for the first time tonight. So, I've got my queen-size wool blanket and this zip-up wooby. Um, and we've used that in here down below freezing, doubling up the layers of the wool with the wooby even after the fire goes down and off, out of all the outdoor sleep we've done. Yeah, that's more than enough. With it getting down into the low teens tonight, potentially lower, uh, with wind chill i decided to bring out something that i wasn't going to uh, use until a bushcraft camp when it was going to be getting down uh, to freezing or below so this is a lucky sheep wool sleeping bag i'm not going to talk a ton about all the specific details of this until i do the uh, the video where we use this out in the field in a bushcraft context but for now i'm just going to Put the zip up looby at the bottom. Just kind of layer up the wool blanket at the base. And then get this bad boy out. Now I've got it cinched down really, really tight right now. But the outside is a treated cotton material but this thing is then completely insulated with wool 
And this particular one that I got is rated down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and I believe it's got a two inch loft. And then the one that's rated down to 15 or 10 degrees Fahrenheit, it's got a three inch loft. But yeah, without getting into all the details, as I mentioned, uh, the thing that makes this really unique is unlike synthetic bags, it's recommended that you actually sleep with your head in it, get your warm breath in there, and that will help warm you up even quicker and keep you warm throughout the night because the wool wicks your moisture away and even if it does get slightly moist, it doesn't take away from its insulating values. But the one thing about this that potentially might turn some of you guys off and I've not slept in it yet, but I have got in it, tried the configuration out and I don't mind it. It's like it's not difficult for me to maneuver. But this bag is actually designed for you to zip up, and the way the zipper is designed, uh, you then take and rotate around inside the bag and sleep with the zipper underneath you. Um, and they've done that, I believe, to save unnecessary bulk, since you would have an insulated pad with you anyways. But you can also take and use this thing as a quilt. But I want to try the zipped up fashion tonight. And it looks like our coffee is about to start percolating within the next 30 seconds. So you just have had to take and turn the damper down the stove after that white, that like dense white oak started going. It um, it got very very hot in here. But we got ourselves a really nice warm cup of coffee. So far, this is the fifth 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 time I've used a percolator. Uh, second time it showed up uh, in a video, but so far, man. The titanium perk is working phenomenal, uh, and just a percolator in general makes some of the best coffee in my opinion. I'm going to take and just sit here and sip on this and enjoy it, maybe watch something, watch something on my phone, make sure we got our wood situation situated, uh, then I'm going to warm up the last little bit, there's probably about a little bit more than half a cup's worth of that deer stew left, and I'll heat that up and eat it. And then I'm going to get things prepped for bed. Uh, up here, it's probably just right out of frame. I've had uh, one of these thermom the thermometer with that County Com glow in the dark keychain thing sitting right beside a light bulb to uh, charge that, that material. And we'll go hang it up in a tree here in a second, just outside the tent, about 15 foot or so. Uh, and then I still got this one right here where it's sitting inside the tent. Uh, because like, I mean, there's a huge change in temperature just from like where the floor sits to where like, oh, there go, there went some snow, uh, to mid chest level to where my head is just up another foot to where this thermometer is. This thermometer is reading 95 degrees. And I think right now, based off how I'm starting to sweat, where I'm sitting mid chest level, it feels like it's like in the low 80s, which is a little bit hot for my preference. That's why I turned the damper down. Um, and then the exact outside temperature, I'm not sure of yet. We'll check it right before we go to bed. Cheers, guys. Thanks for hanging out up until this point. We will check in with you later.
Alrighty guys, I got the stove stoked up and the damper as uh, closed as you can make it without completely closing her off. I uh, went outside, it's uh, looking like it's right at 20 degrees, maybe 19 degrees. I don't think the really cold um, air and stuff is supposed to come in until like 3 or 4 a.m. So that's when those super cold temperatures get here and that's what we'll essentially be in woke up to but with this sleeping bag because of the way it's designed and the size of it I won't be sleeping in my pants I just got I just had my base layer on so I have this three-in-one thermo wave top on which is like, almost too warm and then I just have on the sheath uh, like sheath underwear they make like a base uh, like a synthetic spandex type base layer because I really I normally don't need much at all on my legs like if I would have had the matching bottom to this ouch, the matching bottom of this shirt on I would not have been able to be in here with the wood stove going at the same time being completely cooked out the floor is really covered with a lot of debris and wet from where I've been coming here snow my boots that's why I'm kind of having to I'm going to have to origami to get my pants up. Stuck in here like that. I can leave my pants in my chair. And now. So, there we go. I mean, with the temperature right now, there's really no reason for me to uh, get inside this sleeping bag fully. I'm just gonna zip it up to like my waistline but just to show you guys what I'm talking about just what you do is you zip it up get your arms out or this is the way I do it then you rotate it so there you go now the zipper's underneath you and then you would just finish zipping it up and you can fully cocoon yourself inside and that's all that's why this flap this square flaps here so you can actually completely close yourself off so there's not even a draft coming in from the top when you cinch it down I will say the inner material of this is superbly soft but just with the fire going the way it is right now it's just too much too warm Anyways, I am going to just lay here and get nice and comfy. Probably turn some music on the old cellular device here. And with all that said, guys, I will uh, see y'all in the morning. Well, 
good morning guys how's it going so it is very cold this morning <laughs> um last night uh, being inside of that lucky sheep sleeping bag with the whole head in the bag met that was solid i did end up having to uh pull my wooby kind of over my feet and that leg section uh just so i didn't have nearly as uh oh, i didn't have any insulation really on my legs other than just that like synthetic wiccan base layer <clears throat> but uh, I just when I you know as soon as I felt the cold uh, where I'd slept through the night uh, you know the wood stove went out so it was cold in here it was uh, just a little bit below freezing as you can see my canteen cup I had it just set right outside of uh, my my bed system there and it was almost frozen solid there was still some I think we had about this nice thing about having a metal canteen. Uh, just being able to take and just set it on here on the wood stove but my priority was to go out and get uh just get the wood i had right outside the tent i checked the uh, thermometer that we had to store outside and uh, i got a clip of that i showed probably i'll put it back up again but uh the uh the sun was shining right as well like eight o'clock and it was <clears throat> and it was reading about 17 degrees so uh the the temperature last night probably got down to somewhere between 10 and 13 at the coldest around like between maybe 5 and 7 a.m it's getting nice and warm in here though because this uh this wood stove going from zero to like not zero degrees but from zero to 100 and in heat in here uh this morning i'd say it's took about 20 minutes or so of uh, just getting things going situated but i had all my wood uh like all that small stuff just right outside this front door i just hadn't broke it up yet um and then i had the white oak some white oak left over that we sawed up last night <clears throat> did did great ended up not really having any wind it was a really still night if there would if there would have been an added wind chill uh the temps getting out what it was yesterday it would have easily been the single digits and potentially in the negative uh I looked at the weather uh tomorrow tomorrow we're supposed to be getting uh another bit of uh snow sleet and ice so might try to get out in that do another uh who knows i got a bunch of different types of uh camps and things planned in different areas but being in the wall tent the wood stove does kind of spoil you i, I probably i really need to get uh that tp uh hot tent out again and maybe we'll do that and that way we can still have our uh, titanium wood stove for heat oh, but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this one um, as always i really appreciate you hanging out taking time to watch the video please make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share your channel with friends family anybody enjoys good old outdoor activities and gear speaking of gear if you're interested in any of the uh, stuff i've used in this particular video anytime you're watching my videos just take a gander down at the video description box and i try to link to everything that i can still find on the interwebs that i am using and then uh you know take the time hit me up in the comment section thoughts opinions ideas recommendations all that good old stuff and uh yeah till the next one adios